Hello everybody and welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution 2 with the Park Managers Collection Pack. So this pack adds four new species as well as a new skin for the Tyrannosaurus Rex, that being Little Easy from the last two seasons of Camp Cretaceous, and maybe even Chaos Theory, given Big Edie's there, I can imagine Little Edie could make an appearance too. So the four species we're going to take a look at are the Mighty Megalodon, the Diminutive Microceratus, the sleek and slender Sagisaurus, and the not too highly requested Thanatos Dracon. But I think we should just start with the, with the star of the show, that being Megalodon. Have a look at that. That is a very impressive animal. The look at the dorsal fin just cutting through the surface of the water, so that is just iconic. Yeah, so the Megalodon looks to adopt many features of a great white shark, as well as many other different species of shark. The pattern looks to be inspired by that of a whale shark. The dorsal fin is very similar to a tiger shark. And the long pectoral fins remind me of an oceanic white tip somewhat however they could also be inspired by a great white but it is a very big animal I will say like it has a lot of chunk to it and comparing it to a mosasaurus is exactly what we're going to do right now and see what happens when these two meet so I'll speed that up get a mosasaurus out here and see what happens However, we may just have to wait a second if the Megalodon chooses to go for the shark, which it looks to be going for. Let's see. Mosasaurus will probably make its way over as well. Okay, Megalodon looks to be getting into position. Uh, let's just see if we can get this in slow motion when it starts. So, shark is turning. And it's about to propel itself. Okay, here we go. Let's see this. So you can see it coming from the kelp. It's about to leap. See, it's getting quicker. Boom! That was incredible. Ooh. That's probably my best cinematography ever. <laughs> that was... I, I really like how well I filmed that. But yeah, so... The Megalodon hunts very much like a great white shark. And it certainly doesn't disappoint. As you can see in the lagoon, we have the new giant kelp. Which is a new decoration for the lagoons that really add a certain atmosphere that was sorely needed for the lagoons and they feel amazing now but yeah the megalodon also when it hunts will it, its jaws will go forward much like in modern sharks but it will also retract its eyes back which is used as a defense mechanism to ensure that they don't lose their sight now you can see they're very glassy black but you can actually see the large pupil and the much darker iris around it so, yeah, it really gives it an ominous appearance. And that that is just an awesome looking animal. He looks at, actually doesn't look too scary from the front there. He looks kind of cute, you know. But, um, yeah, so well, I guess we'll have to see what happens when a Megalodon meets a Mosasaurus. Speak of, we need to locate that Mosasaurus. And it is, oh, it's over here. So the Mosasaurus is probably going to try and make its way over to the shark. I might just remove the shark actually to encourage... Oh, wait, what? Oh, Mosasaurus has already made up its mind. Okay. Well, while we wait for that, how about we release a couple more Megalodons? Oh, we got the new camera. Yes! 
So here you'll be able to see the dorsal fin just cutting through the surface. Yes! Look at that! So you can see the pattern is much more vibrant on this one. And it looks to be a green shark. Yeah, mostly green with these dark black stripes. But that looks incredible. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. Let's see if we can get another one. Are we also getting it from this one? So let's see. Oh, wow. That is striking. Wow, look at that. A similar main skin, but the pattern is beautiful. Look at that. The yellow spots that sort of get a lot paler as you go up the shark. And the large orange stripes. That's a cool looking Megalodon right there. And we'll see what the last one has to offer. Wow, he got it. Got this camera angle for the whole thing. Oh, woohoo! So we've got a very black and white colored megalodon, but these beautiful stripes the green and the blue. Or socializing. Oh, oh. oh okay. Oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> So the Megalodon will bite at um, the other Megalodon's head in this animation, but clearly took it out of the water there. Oh, hello. That's another interaction that we have. Yeah, so you can see the Megalodon bites the other's pectoral fin. Okay. So if we remove the shark, Seriously? Okay. Well, I guess it's a good opportunity to potentially... S oh, hang on. What was going on there? Mosasaurus seems to be going between fast and slow movements. Okay, shark was taken out. So now let's encourage this confrontation. Oh, here we go. <laughs> All right, let's duck down, and we'll see this in slow motion. The megalon comes in and bites the Moses' side. And that is the Moser immediately killed so megalodon is the new apex predator of the lagoons with those powerful jaws and making mosasaurus shark chum oh wow that's a good shot <laughs> i was gushing over my own cinematography but yes so that is what happens to the mosasaurus but let's see let's hear dunkel osteus The only other fish in the game. So, depending on what happens, the Dunkleosteus could immediately get attacked by a Megalodon. We have four sharks in here. So let's see what happens to this armoured fish. Or oh, hunting prey. Going after... Oh, it's going after some fish. Oh, that tuna has been singled out. Might as well watch this. Why not? Yep, there we go. <laughs> Megalodons. Oh, whoa! Look at the size difference. Oh, okay, here we go. <laughs> yep, there we are. <laughs> like I thought was going to happen. Dunkleosteus immediately taken out. Um, let's see what happens with another member of the marine species pack. The Nothosaurus. So it's immediately panicking. Oh, that looks cool, seeing the Nothosaurus swimming through kelp. 
It's like it's some kind of sea otter seeking refuge from these massive sharks. Honestly, the Mathosaurus honestly looks like it belongs here in the kelp. Let's see how long it takes for a Megalodon to size up the newcomer. Oh, hang on. Oh, I thought that Megalodon was coming straight for it. Don't know, Mathosaurus is just swimming fast. Oh, Moses still there. Oh, li listen to this theme. Oh, oh, that was the. Oh, and another one. Megalodon's attacking the walls. I think we might be about. To... Okay, no. So we might get, I might just release the other reptiles, the Ichthyosaurus and the Styxosaurus, and we'll check those out when those happen. But in the meantime, let's check out one of the skins, that being that of Little E.T. And she's right in the foreground. Oh wait, no, that's Big E.T. There's Little E.T. <laughs> If we just hop over to Lil Edie, yes, this is the daughter T-Rex from Camp Cretaceous Seasons 4 and 5. Daughter of Big Edie, and was... It was not included in the Camp Cretaceous Dinosaur Pack for whatever reason. But she is now here as part of this pack, and honestly, both packs are worth buying in my personal opinion. Oh. T-Rex theme playing in the background now. Yep. <laughs> yeah, her pattern looks amazing here, much like her mother. And yeah, it's great to have both these guys in here. Uh, girls, I should say. But yeah, you can finally recreate Season 4 of Camp Cretaceous, at least for the T-Rex. So, how's the Megalodons going? Doesn't seem anything new is happening. I think that's our Styxosaurus. Yep, that is indeed. A bioluminescent plesiosaur, however, I don't believe this is a bioluminescent skin, no. Um, let's see. Now, I already know that the Megalodon cannot attack the Archelon. Nothing can, but, um, yeah. Ooh, hang on. So they're going to get hungry at some point, so they're not quite hungry yet, so I think I'll give us enough time to check out Segisaurus, well, Segisaurus. Small relative of Celo. Oh wow! Look at that blue one. <laughs> yeah, this is our small relative to Celophysis. Very loud relative. But these guys were part of the roster of the original Jurassic Park. So this is the last film canon dinosaur that we necessarily needed to see in the game, and it never really appeared in any other Jurassic media before. But now Segisaurus is here in the game, and it's. <laughs> It, I'm, I'm, oh, T-Rex are fighting, but, um, I mean, it doesn't offer too much aesthetically. Like, it is a pretty cool little dinosaur, but it, it, it's very similar to animals like that of the Coelophysis, the Troodon, even though they're not related, but they look very similar to one another. Like, they're looking closely at the face, you can see the inspirations from the Troodon. Like, those big eyes and the head is very much similar. It's just a much smaller and more elongated body, and there's no toe claw. But Segisaurus is certainly a welcome addition. Every dinosaur is. And it's always great to see a, a canonical dinosaur added to the game. And I think we'll just put some meat feeders out for these guys. They also eat eat the goat, much like that of the Science for Optrix, the Morris, the Treptus, and the Compi, all as a pack. And they'll also do the same for humans. So, I don't know if we're going to be able to showcase that in this video. We probably won't, but we'll at least be able to keep these guys well fed. Oh, this is the social in interaction. Yeah, so it kind of gets spooked. You see it happening again over here. 
Yeah, other than that, the Segisaurus doesn't have too much else that I can really showcase other than the Ghost Hunt. But I think these guys are probably just going to run over and feed from the meat feeder. So, let's have a look at Microceratus. So this is the last of the Dominion species that was necessary for the game as, yeah. <laughs> like, it's Microceratus, Colin Trevorrow's favourite dinosaur. Well, let's have a look at it. I deliberately made this batch all Dominion skins. So these two are 2022 A and B. So A is this red and yellow one, and B being the blue one. Now, there was actually a C, which is, this is the closest I could get to it, which is a sort of turquoise green with some orange. But yeah, this is the closest I'm gonna get to C as it wasn't given officially. So yeah. This is Microceratus and it is cute! Like, I think this is the cutest animal in the game now. Lystrosaurus was going for a while. It was like they just had that little um, puppy-like animation. But now these guys, they have that little um, playful um, upbeat music. And yeah, these guys, these guys are so cute. This, they, sound, they sound so cute too. Yeah, these guys are one of the most requested animals that's ever been in the game it has been requested since the first evolution even because we got the website dinosaurs Edmontosaurus, Zucamatus and Metricanthosaurus but Microceratus was on there too but we never received it maybe Frontier thought it was too small or something like that but now we have it as we have so many small dinosaurs now that Microceratus fits right in also fits right into this dense grass so let's ha have a look at the outside so it looks like we're going to get our social interaction between these two dominion microceratuses oh look at that they rub up against each other now we've got a few other skins that we could check out so let's oh wow up oh, is <laughs> another dominion skin <laughs> yes yeah, so i'll just yeah so we've got all sorts now this is very similar to that Dominion skin I pulled out. Um, wow, look at that vibrant color. That vibrant purple on there. And we've also got, wow, a nice gold microceratus. And a bright purple. And we've got one more batch that we can release. Let's have a look. As you can see, the colors are very eye-catching. So you can see that bright blue there and some bright red. Yeah, Microceratus is very good, so you need ground fiber and ground leaf for these guys. And it should go swimmingly. And that right. Look at those giant eyes. Well, it doesn't seem like we've got too much more action happening in the lagoons. The Ichthyosaurus, Styxosaurus, and Nothosaurus are all still alive. So, don't know why that's the case. Maybe we do need a shark in the lagoon after all, just to... Uh, keep these guys happy enough to eat other creatures. So let's see if that does make a difference. Uh, or they just need to be hungry enough. I mean, they're certainly getting hungry now, so... Oh. Boom! <laughs> yeah. Sorry, guys, I'm just trying to get these animations. Um, okay, so it doesn't seem any Megalodon's really close enough to interact with one of these guys. Styxosaurus is hanging around with the Nothosaurus, and they're not going to give it, uh, each other any trouble. Um, then a notification will come up. So, oh, right, there's another batch of Sekisaurus they didn't release, but uh, we'll have a look at those guys at some point. But now, for the last species, Thanatos Dracon. If that isn't the most dramatic music I've heard for a pterosaur. But yes, this guy is an Ashdarkid from South America during the late Cretaceous, I believe. And yeah, it was a re it's a relatively recent discovery as well. And certainly not a species that was on my wish list. But now that it's here, I'm certainly happy to have it. It is, it is a very well-made creature. Most accurate looking pterosaur I think we have. It does, however, grab ghost with its legs but eh, what, what can you do 
Uh, I don't know if we've got any goats in here right now, but let's release some of the other Thanos Drakons and see what other skins we have. So, there are a couple of unique animations, much like the, the, the Megalodon, where these guys will have their own unique fight. And I think Segisaurus and Microceratus may have that too. I don't know if people have um, necessarily filmed that yet. But let's have a look, see if anything happens. But hey, we might actually get our little feeding animation. Not quite. Yeah, they seem to catch one fish and be done. So let's... Oh, wait, why did I tilt? There we go. Okay, let's see if any more... Oh, there we go. That's a little, um, sort of bird-like fight in the sky that they have. Okay, we're getting tons of them in now. However, these... These guys are probably just going to take off because they're done. Yep. So yeah, we had that little fighting animation. I don't know if we're going to get the other's attention. We've got drinking animation happening over here. Actually, it's pretty cool. Oh, and this is it stretching out. Looking like an eagle almost. Like it's about to take off. I don't know if we're going to get lucky enough to catch them feeding. They really don't feed for long, though. I wonder if that dog fight will repeat itself. Don't know. They, they hit in the walls of the Avery. They are, okay. What's wrong, fellas? Oh, dead, don't. Oh, we missed it. Oh. Poor guy. Uh, let's... Oh. Oh, and they're out. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, the Nosasaurus is gone. So, I guess let's see what happens when a Thanosaurus Dracon goes after some guests. So, uh, let's... Hunting prey. Yep, that's a guest, alright. So, it picks it up and carries it quite high and the poor guy drops okay in here we should oh are you gonna fly into the forest again yes so... they yeah so they they pick up their their quarry and yeah drop them I think it might happen here again yep here we go upsy daisy oh Oh, oh, that was a bad landing. Ow. Ooh. Okay, well, we've got some free pterosaurs. Um, now I wonder, is the Styxosaurus going to be in any danger from these megs? Doesn't really look like it. Seems to swim quite a lot faster than them. But I think that's all we have to show. There is a little lagoon light that was also added that can help illuminate your parks a bit better. So if you place that down, you can also change its colors and it will give a great spotlight to many different things. So you'll be able to, I think Evolution Square was uh, asking for this and yeah, wish was granted. Um, don't know how long Evolution 2 will still be getting support for though. This, scene, this does feel like a finale pack, but like, uh, I think we could still get a Chaos Theory DLC. This Chaos Theory is impending, and I think, yeah, if we would not, if we would end the game without getting the Beckle Spine Axe, I, yeah, I think Beckle Spine Axe should just be added uh, before Jurassic World Evolution 2 ends, as we're still going to be waiting a little bit until Jurassic World Evolution 3 comes out. Oh, look at that. Yeah, so let me know what your thoughts are on this pack, and. Yeah, if you enjoyed this video, do leave a like, I would certainly appreciate it. And if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, we do have other things coming up, occasionally. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, if you like all things Rascal Evolution 2, Prehistoric Kingdom, or Planet Zoo, this is the channel for you. Don't know why I'm advertising my channel right now, but, like, yeah, I guess it was just kind of something on my mind.
But yeah, let me know what your thoughts are on the pack in the comments down below. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.